Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to Griffin Santo Pietro about season four of Cobra Guy, which recently dropped on Netflix. Welcome back to the show, man. It's good to see you. It's good to see you, man. Thanks for having me back. Yeah, no worries. It's so exciting. I mean, so much happening with Anthony LaRusso this season, man. It's so cool. Yeah. Um, What's it like kind of being in a situation, though, where your character has a similar kind of rivalry now that, you know, Daniel, LaRusso, um, Daniel LaRusso and Johnny Lawrence had? It's pretty cool. Yeah, no, it's totally cool. I, I really like that they decided to kind of put Anthony in the uh, more Johnny uh, Lawrence side yeah. rather than Daniel. Which is amazing. Is it, well, is there a, what, what can you can, can you prepare for something like this? Like, how did you prepare for such a big arc that your character is having this season? Um, I think I was just I was so ready for it after yeah. all these years. I was I was so ready for Anthony to finally have um, some uh, storyline, and yeah. so I think um, I was I was just so into it that um, and I and I really again I love the idea that Anthony is kind of this bystander bully that you wouldn't expect him to be. Yeah. Um, considering his dad, um, and so I was just, I was just really excited about it. I think that's what, what got me. And there's always so many theories about Griffin, right? Is he going to join <laughs> Miyagi Do? Is he going to join? Um, sorry about about Anthony. There's so many theories about it, and it's pretty cool. Now people are going to have way more theories. Are you prepared for that as well? <laughs> I am. I am so prepared. I think there's been so many theories this whole time. Um, but I'm excited. I'm excited to see what people think after season four. You have a lot of scenes with, with, with you know, um, Ralph Macchio, but, you know, specifically Dallas Young, who plays Kenny. Those are some amazing scenes. Um, like I said, that's a big rivalry now that everyone's going to look forward to forever seasons. What was it like working with Dallas on a lot of those scenes? It was it was so much fun, man. We, we became such good friends during season four, it, which was ironic considering we had to hate each other. Yeah. Um, but it was so it was it was I mean, it was fun getting getting to bully him because um, I think the first thing we filmed was like um, it was the basketball stuff when I yeah. was like really mad at him um, but it was great it was really great I mean I've never really gotten to work with someone like so close to my age and for was for this to this magnitude and so it's really cool just getting to getting to have a friend to work with and as, has it hit you that it's finally out? Because you know how Netflix does it with all the announcements and the yeah. tournament. Like, it's finally out. People are going to be able to see it now. I know. It's so crazy. I'm like, I, I always thought of it as just be like coming out in a few months, but it's actually out. Have you, you know, two-part question. What is your favorite thing about being part of Cobra Kai, the show on Netflix? And what do you think kind of stands out, the reason why people are loving it so much, in your opinion? There's so much to love, but is there anything that stands out? Um, I would say that, um, my favorite part about it is definitely just like the community. Like, yeah. I just think, I think getting to hang out with all those people and everyone's so cool. And, you know, I've talked to some people on it because everyone is, is just so nice, but I've talked to people and I'm like, did we, are all cast like this or we just kind of luck out? Mm -hmm. And I think we're just got really lucky with this. Like we're all, everybody's just the nicest people. Um, and then, um, sorry, what was the second one? Well, the second one, just kind of like, what, there's so much to love about the show. But what right. stands out yeah, to yeah. you? Like, what element do you think is like a big reason why the show is so popular? In your opinion? Um, I would say the biggest reason is that it can appeal to a lot of people. You know, you've got yep. your your classic Karate Kid older characters, then you've got your kids, and now with Dallas and I, you've got an even younger group of kids. Mm -hmm. And so I think that it appeals to, especially on something like Netflix, it can appeal to so many age ranges of people. Yeah. Um, and now with, and now even you got Anthony, who's kind of like this guy who's being peer pressured into bullying which is something that a lot of kids can relate to yeah and so i think it's just it's a very relatable show how many how, there's gonna be a lot of memes and gifts um you know i talked to i talked to dallas about this the whole like lapuso yes <laughs> yes yes there's gonna be a lot of a lot of there's memes and gifts. <laughs> I'm expecting many of many of memes. It's gonna be it's it's so great. It's so I'm I'm so happy for you, man. It's so amazing to see oh, the character. Right. Um for a wrap up quickly too. Obviously, you know, you know, season four is out. People are kind of watching it and everything. You know how it is, right? People want the next season and everything. People have all these questions. I mean, I guess as much as you can answer this, I mean, I'm sure I guess the answer is in terms of what you're hoping yeah. what's next for Anthony LaRusso. I guess just kind of seeing where it goes, seeing where it goes with Dallas, yeah. with Kenny, and just seeing where it goes, right? Yeah, no, I'm so excited to see where Dallas and I go and, you know, where Anthony goes now that he's kind of 
well, I think he's seen the errors of his way a bit. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm just really excited to see where he decides to go with his life. And is there a very, very quickly a cool, funny, like blooper or funny thing that kind of happened on set a little bit? Like Dallas said, uh, there was so much fun, but anything specifically you could share? I'm trying to think. Okay, wait, going through, racking my brain right now. Um, I would say, um, I think the All Valley, there was a lot, I think, because there's so many people. Yeah, like, it's it was, everyone. Like, absolutely. Everybody there. And so there are a million. Oh, you know what it was? I know. I had got my rap gift for the season was I made these because the, the entire season, for some reason, we all played Frisbee because it was filmed during like hotter weather. Yep. So we were always playing Frisbee in between takes. And so I had gotten everybody Frisbees as my rap gift, like a little Cobra Kai Frisbee. <laughs> and I made a stupid decision of giving them to people during the All Valley, specifically I think it was Khalil who I gave it to, and he was just throwing it around. So they're all just like all these frisbees just being thrown around. They all all had my name on it because it was because it was my gift. It's all these frisbees are like hitting people and going around, and they all say Griffin said a Beatrice on it. Um, That's so amazing. That that was fun. (laughs) That's awesome, Griffin. Thank you so much for coming back on Pop Alternative. I really enjoyed chatting with you you again, man. Great. Yeah, season four is out now on Netflix, and people could follow you, Ray. There's an Instagram account to keep updated with everything. Yes, just at Griffin Santa Pietro. Yeah, awesome. Well, this has been Pop Turnative, youtube.com slash Pop yeah. for previous episodes, popturnative.com for forever content as well. You're going to be able to catch Griffin Sando Pietro's Anthony LaRusso in season four of Cobra Kai, now streaming on Netflix. Until next time, this is Griffin and Petey Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.